ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and uh, we are back with a new month of this year 2021 uh, it's july half of the year has passed well this is the chart for today uh, where i am recording ingolstadt germany 10 21 pm and it's capricorn ascendant here and this footage that you see here is from drikpanchang.com and if you see the degrees uh, sun is of of course obviously in the mid degrees of gemini and moon is in pisces and mars is in the sign of debilitation which is cancer and then we have mercury in the friendly sign of taurus and jupiter is uh, Jupiter is retrograde in the uh, sign of uh, Aquarius. Okay, 28th June, Jupiter had gone into retrogression, and then Venus is in the sign of Cancer, about to conjoin Mars. If you see, uh, one is 11, the other one is 18 degrees, and Saturn is also retrograde. In Capricorn is an own sign and Rahu and Ketu are in the mid degrees of Taurus and Scorpio respectively so <clears throat> if you look towards uh, the energies of this month uh, they're quite quite uh, peculiar energies why do I say this because one planet is in its own sign which which planet is it well yes uh, saturn is the planet uh, but he's retrograde there okay so whenever a planet is retrograde uh, it is said that they the planet behaves as if it is in the opposite sign so it doesn't go to the opposite sign but it behaves as if it is in the opposite sign so how, how do you understand this this is like saying i'm sitting here but I'm behaving as if I want to sit somewhere else, okay? So Saturn is in Cancer, which means, uh, I mean, Saturn is in Capricorn now, but he's acting as if he wants to be in Cancer or as if he is in Cancer, okay? Even though he's in Capricorn. So why, what's the meaning of this? It means you may be doing the things related to Capricorn, externally so for example if saturn is your 10th lord if you're aries lagna then it could happen um, something to do with your career like 10th lord in capricorn which is in this case your own house 10th lord in 10th house or maybe you are trying to uh, work very hard diligently trying to figure out uh, what are the things that you need to what are the skills that you need to master okay uh, your profession for example uh, but it's appearing as if he's uh, he's in cancer which is the opposite sign which is the sign of emotions and uh, feel good factor cancer rules this word feel good factor so sometimes you are doing your work but you're feeling as if uh, you are better you would have been better off doing something else okay so that's a situation where a plant is retrograde where you're doing something but you think that maybe this is not what I should do or what I should have been doing okay, or what I should do in the future. And then we have this uh, mutual aspect of Mars and Saturn uh, during this month. And then we also have Venus which is uh, kind of trapped. Uh, so if you check the degrees, Saturn is in 18 degrees and uh, Mars is also in 18 degrees so uh, Mars has just crossed if you see it's 22 minutes and Saturn is going retrograde of course so it's 9 degrees so Mars has crossed uh, Saturn in this mutual aspect and both are separating aspect wise but if you see Venus he is uh, closing uh, towards this 18 degree mark okay and Venus moves faster than Mars so Venus will also reach Mars uh, and both will be conjunct uh, in the sign of Cancer and then 
yeah they will be moving uh, ahead together so now for venus what will happen is uh, it will uh, first it will reach the aspect of saturn which will be in last uh, 17 degrees or 18 degrees and then it will by that time mars will be moving ahead and then eventually venus will cross mars okay so uh, whichever house venus rules in your chart uh, you might be feeling this nervous tension or this strain within yourself that you want to achieve something very fast but uh, you know that you won't be getting the solutions so easily as you expected so then what do you do in this case well you have to understand that um, these planets uh, the energy is playing upon you so which which means uh, first you will feel that there is a restriction because first venus will be under the direct aspect of saturn degree wise okay 18 degrees so uh, venus will be in 18 degrees around after five days roughly five to six days so today is first of july so you can expect around uh, 5th or 6th uh, july things can get a bit slow especially for libra and for taurus lagna people and also if venus is your atma karaka in your chart or venus uh, is ruling your moon sign okay so uh, i mean you if your moon sign is also libra or taurus so you might feel that uh, you are restricted uh, you want to do things but you are unable to do but then suddenly this uh, mutual aspect is broken and then Venus reaches Mars and then he is crossing over so this is another peculiar situation where uh, Mars is in debility because Mars will be in cancer till um, till when Venus crosses Mars okay so this Mars Venus conjunction will happen in cancer I mean to say when Venus will be exactly uh, crossing Mars Mars will be in cancer so now what is Mars Mars is uh, the planet of impulsiveness Mars is the planet of uh, Mars is representing animalistic traits within us instincts okay when we act without thinking now that planet is in debility okay uh, which means uh, we might act uh, in ways which we should not which we regret later but if you see um, this debility is getting niche hunger which means the debility is uh, getting cancelled externally by Saturn because the Lord um, uh, because uh, it won't be uh, like literally the debility is getting cancelled but Saturn is in the opposite sign and uh, it is helping and if you uh, see who is the lord of this sign uh, moon so this debility will literally be cancelled when uh, moon is joining mars okay so moon will be joining mars uh, yeah after a week or so so moon is here then two days to five days seven days yeah so after eight to nine days moon will be joining mars so during that time literally the debility will be cancelled okay but because of the aspect of saturn um, the situation is a bit similar to niche Bhanga, although not uh, not uh, as per uh, the epics but because saturn is uh, saturn is the lord of the sign where mars gets exalted which is capricorn and that planet is aspecting uh, Mars so therefore this can help Mars okay but in essence um, when moon joins Mars uh, the mind may uh, feel a bit restless but it may feel that I need to think and then act so that is where those two days you may feel that yeah the debility is uh, getting cancelled which means you may think uh, before you act but then Venus is also there. So this is like a very intense energy. Moon, Mars, Venus conjunct and aspected by Saturn. Okay. So, <clears throat> so keep a watch on your communications because by then Mercury will also be in Gemini and he will be placed 12th to this conjunction. So basically um, lashing out on someone and speaking badly all these things could happen okay 
so by the beginning of the second week of july so be cautious regarding this and of course mercury will be moving ahead uh, very fast as he is out of retrogression now of course so the thing is when mercury will enter gemini then things will relatively uh, become more stable because um, jupiter which is the karka for uh, you could say a uh, higher logic okay mercury represents logic but jupiter represents higher logic so jupiter is retrograde so we are not able to find the right vision in our life regarding the houses which jupiter rules in the chart but um, mercury will be known sign in gemini and if you are if your ascendant is gemini virgo sagittarius or pisces then you will be enjoying the benefits of uh, bhadra mahapurush yoga in the chart temporarily till mercury is in gemini because bhadra mahapurush yoga will be formed only when uh mercury is in own sign gemini or in exaltation virgo in the kendra houses so if you are a, a dual sign ascendant then yes this this placement will be in your kendra anywhere 1 4 7 10 uh, so then you will be enjoying this yoga so this yoga is very powerful because this bestows you with lot of uh, skill basically so people having bhadra mahapurush yoga uh if mercury is in a good nakshatra provided okay conditions apply okay and the 10th lord is well placed the 5th lord is well placed conditions apply then uh what happens is the person has great ability to learn and uh, uh negotiate communicate and scale up their business learn about so many things related to technology investing um teaching uh, learning so many things okay so therefore this yoga is very powerful so congratulations to um those who are uh, those who are uh, having dual sign as their ascendant so during this time uh, even though if you may not have a dual sign as an ascendant so you should be focusing on learning uh, because mercury is the primary karka for the 10th house he is the karka for skill which gives you recognition in the long run so therefore you need to understand that although this mars venus saturn energy is acting but and also jupiter is retrograde but mercury can uh, help this conjunction okay and uh mercury can give this feeling that i can work work out all the things which i need to uh by by learning about how things should work by uh deliberating by negotiating okay because the sign of gemini is all about negotiations it is about uh making contracts okay it's about writing it's about speaking talking and mercury is the ruler of gemini so it is like saying uh the ruler of gemini is back to gemini so this means um when you want to activate mercury then you will be able to do it in a way which uh, makes your life better and which makes the communication better after all okay so therefore uh please utilize this uh, month because mercury will very soon move in gemini because he is already in 25 degrees in the next uh four days he will be moving out Three four days, and then he'll be conjunct sun, and you'll also we will also be having this uh, new moon, I guess, on eighth new moon in Gemini, and then after fourteen uh, days of that, you'll also get the full moon, of course. Uh, um, the thing is, this month uh, we have Rahu Ketu's positions. Uh, Rahu is with Mercury now, so. things may appear a bit bloated in the media and in the social media and in the news okay so please watch out for fake news and apart from this uh jupiter and uh, if if you check properly you will see um if you take sun as the ascendant then you take jupiter then you will see that uh, both are in trines okay jupiter and sun are in trines so 
this can actually help us to find uh, a bigger purpose in life okay so therefore the key theme for this month is do your best uh, do not get obsessed about the results uh, make sure your communication is good and at the end uh, try to find a higher purpose in life you know develop that's that which is beyond actually okay uh, because uh, at times we may be too much obsessed and if you see here when mercury will enter gemini jupiter and mercury will again be in trines okay so therefore uh, this can be a very good time to see what skills do you need to improve a particular area in your life that will of course depend on your horoscope depending on your dashas and transits uh, other tra transits of other planets of course depending on your dashas and where your dasha lords are transiting your dasha lords where which houses they are indicating in your chart which houses they are ruling which nakshatras they are placed on and where are the nakshatra lords of these dasha lords placed okay so depending on that uh, it will be decided what are the skills that you need to obtain during this mahadasha okay so for that you need to look uh, into your chart personally all right ladies and gentlemen that will be all from my side i wish you a very happy month of july and uh, i hope everybody is safe and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and yes if you want a personalized consultation from me for this month then you can always go down to my website down in the description section okay thank you very much and see you tomorrow